Hey there, H here, and thank you so much for clicking on the video. So this isn't like a list video or like an album reaction, a single reaction. This is just a video where I talk about 2021 as a whole for me, kinda. I don't know why I kind of felt like making this video. I just I just woke up today and I was like, fuck it, um, why not? Today is December 30th and my top 15 video hasn't came out yet, but it's about to in like five minutes. And if I play my cards correctly, this video should drop tomorrow around 4.15ish. So when you're watching this, it should be like, what, 4.30 on December 31st, if you watch it on that day. I just, 2021 was a different year for me. I mean, to be frank, it was a weird year for everybody because of cock big. Not allowed to say the other word because then YouTube will come for my ass. So this, this video is really more just for myself. Like, it's kind of, I'm just talking to myself right now. Like, I know you're listening, if you're listening, but... I'm looking at a camera. I'm looking at myself on the screen. So I think even with every negative thing about 2021, it was still a good year for me. One of the biggest things I did this year was I got out of a four year relationship. Now that may seem kind of like bad, but I've, I've wanted to get out for so long. I've just always been trapped in that relationship. And yes, it happened in November. That's, that's the main reason I didn't upload in November, to be honest, but I've been wanting to do it since august september maybe and i'm not gonna act like the relationship was all bad you know it, it had its moments but overall i just wasn't happy and to be fair that was a common thing in 2021 i wasn't really happy i stopped talking to a bunch of friends because you know online i basically fell out of love with my partner and for a long period of my life i didn't have anyone really i would talk about certain topics with my partner and she would just get mad at me so like I, I kind of stopped sharing with her and it really impacted our relationship heavily. I kind of had a falling out with my dad, kind of. It's a weird situation. I'm trying my best to repair it, but I just, I feel like I'm coming across as a failure to everybody. I hate, I hate standards, bro. My mom expects so much from me. Honest to God, she thinks I'm some fucking boy genius just because in third grade or whatever, I had good grades, but like, I'm getting Fs. And I'm not, I'm not doing the best. And I'm, I'm really trying, but I just don't, I just don't get it sometimes. Now this wasn't online, like, so I'm in 11th grader right now, but in 10th grade I had okay grades, they were passable. Like for the half of the year that was online, I passed all my classes. But for the next half, which is the first semester of my junior year, I failed two classes. And understandably, I got grounded like back to back to back to back by my mom. But like, it's not even because of laziness. I was doing all of my homework. I was doing as much as I could. I just, I just didn't get it. It just didn't click for me. But speaking of school, I went back to school in person in August. And apart from the actual learning stuff, cause I'm not doing the best. I gotta say, I love it. I picked up a lot of lost friendships and I met a lot of new friends as well. Made a couple friend groups and I feel like I really click with some of them, man. I feel after I cut off my ex, I, I've been in a much better spot. Like it definitely hurt at first, but I, I think it was for the better. At least for me, I know she's 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 not taking it the best. And actually, she was partially the reason why this YouTube channel exists. You know that thing where married couples believe that a child could save their marriage when they're starting to fall out of love? In a sense, I feel like I wanted to create this channel because I wasn't happy with my relationship and I was just really seeking happiness in something else. So I guess I'm thankful for not being happy in a way. Another thing is this is not the first YouTube channel I've made. I tried to make a YouTube channel with um, two friends and it didn't work out because I was the only one actually putting any effort into anything. I had to make the tough call and call it off and say, nah, it's, it's not happening. Like I'm, I'm not gonna continue doing this because it's taking up too much of my time and none of you guys are helping. And this was like in March and April. It really demotivated me from wanting to do YouTube for a bit, at least until I started becoming unhappy in my relationship. But that experience kind of helped me learn something, which was that failure isn't when you lose. Failure is when you give up. There's a big difference between failing at something and taking an L. If you take an L, it's a step backwards, uh, something that you didn't want to happen, something that could demotivate a lot of people. But failure is when you completely just give up on it. There were so many things in my way from even beginning my YouTube channel. Like for one, 
This room was a shit show. I shit you not. It was stacked to the brim with just trash and old stuff that none of us used. And who got it cleaned? And you can't see it on the camera, but there's a corner that way that just had so much mold. We had to rip down the walls and just completely like put up new wall. We had to put in floorboards. We had to level the floor because it wasn't even leveled. There was repainting. There was replacing the door because that shit didn't work. Everything in here had to be replaced essentially. And big shout outs to my uncle because he helped me a lot. Like I'm talking a lot with it, but I'm not gonna lie. I did a lot too. Like I say it was it was pretty much a 50-50 effort and I'm, I'm thankful that he really helped me with that. Like he didn't he didn't make me charge him a dime. Of course, I paid for everything because I was the one who wanted it. Speaking of which, I held a job for the entirety of this year. Now, it was part-time, but it's still a job. It's still something. And because of everything going on in my life, I dropped a sport that I was in. Now, debatable if you want to call it a sport because it was cross-country and track, but I dropped it. And as a result, I gained some weight. So now that I'm like done with like all the construction in here, I want to pick it up again. Next semester, I'm going to be doing track and field and hoping to lose a couple of pounds that I gained over quarantine. Essentially, I'm just trying to do better. I'm just trying to be a better person every day. And one more thing, I'm trying to tie up like grudges from the past. You know, everyone has those people that they never clicked with and they went back and forth in middle school for some fucking reason. Regardless of if you're that person or not, I was that person who had grudges against people. I really started to learn pretty recently that there's no reason to hold grudges and that if they hate you that's them trying to scoop you down to their level but if you hate them back that's you actually scooping down to their level i've made amends with a lot of the people that i didn't vibe with in the past i've apologized i've been trying to do a lot better because i'm not perfect no one's perfect but some people can't accept the fact that they're not perfect they will deny and swear that you're the problem when in reality it's it's them and I was the problem in a lot of the cases. But I think striving to be a better person is really what we should all be doing. And that's a big thing I'm gonna be doing in 2022, which is why I like, I like for the most part, keeping the channel about positivity. Like if you ever see, I don't like a song. I don't ever say, yo, that shit is complete dookie ass. I just say like, oh, I didn't vibe with the song as much, but if you like it, that's cool. Maybe I said a song was trash here and there, but I, I'm trying my best. Other people, um, James and Omar, I don't know if you guys are watching this, but if you are, I fucking love you guys with everything, man. Those two people, those two motherfuckers right there, bro. I got I got much love for them, bro. They're really the people that I could actually talk to about my problems, bro. And like, regardless of if they're in the mood or not, they always listen for some fucking reason. I appreciate it, man. I really do. Like from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys for everything. Speaking of being thankful, I appreciate you as a viewer for watching my videos. Regardless of if you watched every single one of my videos or just one of them, I, I wanna thank you so much for all the support I've gotten on this YouTube channel. I got a list right here of as much people I could write down that I saw interact with my channel on one way or another. So thank you Schiff, thank you Panos Knifer, thank you Rude P, Gavin Clark, James, Omar, Wizzycat, Nico Churo, Lilach Mareso, David's Canal, Canty with a Hat of Greens, Gutterman, Jack Short, GMP, Misael Galeos, Lo, Juan Juan, Chao Sulaf, Xenophobia, Rock9363, Life 4M, The Short Boy, The Nick of Andre, NW727, Varaxis, Joel Castillo, Fappy, Guieto, Super Real Mass 24, M, Daniel Barreto, Oscar, Norman157, Jubin Bubin, Toaster underscore 77, and Isaac Rogers. If I missed you, I'm incredibly sorry. I just, I, there's a lot of people. I, I don't think I could list every single one. You've given me something to look forward to every single day. And I've really found happiness in YouTube. I hope it never goes away. I just see so many YouTubers just like get burned out by the craft. And honestly, I don't ever see that happening to me. Like, yes, I may take a break, but I don't think I'm ever going to want to quit YouTube. And I'm always gonna want to do this for a job honestly now obviously the passion comes first but it would be cool to make some money off of it you know so i just want to say thank you guys for being here in the early days of my channel really and i don't know why all of a sudden i've been getting this emergence in like subscribers like it took me what i think two months to get like 10 subscribers and then i've been getting like a subscriber a day recently which is which is amazing it, it's an awesome feeling and if you didn't see my other two videos which were my top 15 list and my tier list of every single album i've reacted to 
I'm aiming for 50 albums by the time I make my next tier list of every album I've reacted to in 2022. So here's to the coming year and striving to do better. Honestly, please leave a comment letting me know how your year went. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Because of how unique a year it was for everybody, I'm sure you guys have something to say. Once again, I I love you guys. Thank you so much for making 2021 an amazing year. I think my next video should be an album reaction. So I, I'm not doing like the rap stuff or anything. And then my CD video, I've decided I'm going to make that mid-year next year. So sometime in June, July, it'll drop maybe. Just so you know, we have something to do in the middle of the year. Because we really don't have anything. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I don't really know what this was. This is kind of just me spilling my feelings real quick. Shaking the light skin off, you feel me? I love you guys once again, and I'll see y'all in the next one.